What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I'm going to continue with uh, making your drums sound uh, better and bigger overall in your mix. Uh, in the last story I showed you how to do clap builds like Avicii and Deadmau5. In this one, I'm going to show you a couple tricks that you can apply to your hi-hats, uh, sorry, a couple tricks you can use with hi-hats to uh, make your mix stand out and have a bit more uh, groove to it. So right here in our last tutorial, this is what we had. We had a kick, we had a clap in our clap build that we created. Now, in dance music, and uh, actually a lot of music, uh, producers usually like to put hi-hats on the kicks to make it stand out, because overall in the mix, the kick kind of gets drowned out a little bit, but if you put some hi-hat onto that kick, it's going to stand out a little bit better. So I'm going to put a hi-hat on every time my kick hits, and I already have that laid out here, so I'm just going to go ahead and solo it as well. So you can see right there how the kick actually stands out a little bit more uh, when it's being played out. So here it is without the hi-hat. Here it is with. As you can see, it doesn't have to be a really high volume. You just got to be there a little bit to kind of... Uh, push that high hand of the kick a really a uh, little bit more out so it can stand out in your mix because when you got all these instruments going on it will get a little bit dull and you got to have something to bring out that kick a little bit and that little hi-hat on every kick will kind of help with that so that is one quick tip right there another tip that i want to show you in this video is to create a little hi-hat groove to match your beat that you're trying to go for uh, right here i got a hi-hats on 16th notes and it's just ticking all the way through it sounds a little bit robotic so here take a listen So if we want to make that sound better and a little bit more human as if someone is actually playing it and just give some breath to it, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to our kick because that really drives the beat. We're going to go to our sends and send this out to a bus. So I'm going to go bus 7 and I want to send this out at unity gain. So how do we do that? We go to our circle, hold down the option key and click it. Send out unity gain. Now it's going to create an auxiliary track for you. We don't want that volume up. So we're going to bring it down and mute it so we don't double our kick. And then we're going to go to our 16th uh, ticking hi-hat right there and bring in a compressor. So inserts, compressor, dynamics compressor, bring that in on my other screen, bring that here. And now we're ready to go. Next step you got to do is go to your side chain and tell the compressor, hey, listen to bus 7 because that is the audio that we want affecting this compressor. And let's go ahead and play and you'll hear what kind of sound we're going to get once we complete all of these uh, settings. So what you want, you want a higher ratio, so about 3 to 5 in that kind of range. You want a fast attack, and you kind of want a medium release. So I'm going to put it about 20, 18 milliseconds right there. And then you kind of want to adjust your threshold accordingly to until you get nice breath in your hi-hats. So here we go. So right there, as you can see, all I really adjusted was the threshold to get more breath into our hi-hats. You can actually see that the hi-hats is kind of pushing the track along a lot better than when it was without this compressor. So here's without. And here it is with. Without. With. Actually, it's a little bit too compressed. I can actually bring that up a little bit. Yeah, it sounds good about there. So as you can see, just adjust your threshold, kind of set your attack and release times. Uh, your ratio guy, like I said, about three to five. Your knee can leave it as that is. Then you can go ahead and adjust your gain if you want to, but I usually leave that for here. And on your threshold, I just manipulate that until I get some breath into it, but you don't want to over compress it because uh, then you'll get that kind of pulling sound and that's not what we want. We just want to add some life to those hi-hats and that's what we did right here. So right there, the difference is subtle because that's what you want to do. Subtlety is key when you're mixing music. You want to have some subtleties and all those subtleties will add up to something great. So that right there is 
to give you some more breath into your hi-hats and it's not so robotic you kind of letting it drive letting it flow with the beat of the song and that's what we did right there so if you have any questions on this you can ask them in the comment section um, as usual more great videos coming soon so remember to subscribe and i'm going to be putting out a couple more tips on making your drum loop sound better so watch out for those videos guys i'll talk to you soon later